Gentlemen, observe. Here we see your boringly commonplace fop. Well, as far as I can see, George, he ain't much to look at. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like a peacock. Vanity, his weakness for all the world to see. But the dandy stands feet square, one foot slight in advance of the other. Bent at the knees, but not too much. Back, lengthening, broadening. Head up, chin out. Look straight ahead and forward. And gentlemen, I give you the dandy. <laughs> From this day on, we shall be the body dandiacal. You should go into politics, George. Politics, sir, dresses self-interest up to look well in the public good, whilst I merely dress myself up to look good in public. <laughs> when I am king, George, you should be the prime minister of fashion. And he'll bankrupt the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> the dandy is a portrait of studied carelessness, but without the appearance of study. The dandy style, less is more. No wigs, no powder, we don't use scent. The dandy wears trousers. The dandy, ooh, washes. The dandy is clean, the dandy is neat. The dandy does what he wants, when he wants, where he wants. Absolute disgrace, sir. Leave me down and take myself a play of all your houses. You replace men with machinery. Prosperity with poverty and starvation. England dreams while you grow fat. The young, the old, the weak. 